Hi, uh, my name is Raghu Malia. I'm a fellow at Juniper Networks. And today, I'll be covering the topic uh, where we talk about Juniper's innovations in open source software, uh, the work that we've been doing uh, in order to bring to bear our software on OCP hardware. Again, as you all know, uh, Juniper has been contributing to open source for a very long time. We started off with FreeBSD. We are one of the biggest contributors there. Uh, we have now basically oriented ourselves to doing a lot more work on OCP, uh, primarily looking at you know, uh, onboarding Sonic on our platforms, you know, adding a bunch of interfaces to all layers of our layer cake, as well as you know, supporting uh, you know, uh, our routing protocols in essentially a microservices infrastructure. Right? Now, the important thing here is the work that we've done over the years to be able to take our uh, operating system to essentially a modern model. So what we've done is we invested a lot in our, in our operating system, and we've moved to essentially Linux as a base. So today, our operating system runs on Linux as a base, allows you to actually have native integration of customer applications. Uh, at the same time, we've also redone our object store to be data model, where both the configuration and the operational state is in a, uh, in a data store that is based on object modeling. This allows for easy integration with controller-based applications, as well as for seamless integration into the customer's management systems. We've also redone a lot of our applications to support granular visibility and telemetry. We are now able to actually stream, uh, as, uh, stream all the telemetry from the system, as well as uh, support batch mode. And we have a centralized state database that actually has all the operational state, which can then provide a single point of uh, interface for all of the data that you need. We've taken the OS to essentially a, a state where we have all of the platform components uh, essentially uh, abstracted out, where we are now able to take our OS and run on white box systems with very minimal changes. Uh, we've also added API abstractions to every layer of the layer cake, be it management, control plane, as well as the data plane. Allows us to support a bunch of APIs, uh, whether it's P4, OpenFlow, Sonic, and others. And in doing this, uh, we've componentized all of the components in our operating system. Uh, componentized software helps with modular upgrades, resiliency, and also with lean packaging. So with this basis, you know, uh, where we've invested quite a bit in our OS, you know, uh, brought it to essentially a modern infrastructure, uh, we've been able to actually support various use cases uh, uh, in being able to run our operating system on various OCP compatible hardware. We'll talk about a bunch of use cases where we've been able to harness this change in order to use uh, our OS in different uh, use cases from an OCP perspective. So here are some of the use cases that uh, we've been working on. Uh, we are also actually showcasing some of this in our booth. Uh, we, you can actually come, come down and take a look at it. Uh, we start off with being able to run Junos on OCP hardware. Uh, this is the simplest use case. Uh, if you look at here from a pictorial point of view, all the green boxes are the applications that Juniper brings to bear. Uh, the blue ones are customer applications. Uh, in addition, we are also able to run third-party applications on Juniper uh, software. Uh, these are applications like uh, OpenR. And then we are able to support disaggregated applications where you have, for example, a P4 agent running on box, supporting a P4 controller running external to the system. And we have a, uh, a hardware abstraction layer on the on-box system, which allows you to actually have a P4 runtime run on the OCP hardware. And then finally, what we've done is we've taken our routing protocol stack and disaggregated it. Uh, now our routing protocol stack runs in a microservices architecture, uh, and it can interface directly with Linux. So we are now able to package our routing protocol as an independent container uh, that you can onboard either in a Kubernetes or a Docker Swarm environment. And taking it further, we now are able to run Sonic uh, essentially on both Juniper as well as OCP compliant hardware. Uh, we do provide the platform drivers for, uh, in this particular use case. And then in extension to this, uh, we've been able to take Sonic and run it on essentially a, a multi-PFE environment uh, where we support multiple chips uh, connected through an ASIC, uh, through a fabric. And we do this today on Juniper equipment, uh, Juniper ASIC, and then our plan is to actually extend this to Merchant Silicon as well. 
a bit more detail on each of the use cases. Uh, in the case of uh, being able to run Junos on OCP hardware, uh, what we've done primarily here is componentized our software. Uh, we do have the control plane, which is essentially componentized and modular. We have the management plane, and then we do have the data plane or the hardware abstraction layer, which interfaces with the merchant silicon SDK to talk to the ASIC underneath. Uh, for a lot of the platform components, they are all abstracted out into a separate, comp uh, a separate module, and we do have platform APIs that allow us to interface with different, uh, different hardware uh, models. Uh, at the same time, we actually tend to use a lot of the drivers from open source, uh, and there's very little of proprietary information in the platform layer. Uh, this is a use case where we're running third-party applications on Junos. Uh, a specific use case here that we've highlighted is OpenR. OpenR, as you know, is the network application platform from Facebook, which enables routing extensions to vendor platforms. So what we've been able to do here is primarily onboard OpenR on a Juniper platform and be able to take advantage of the Junos extension toolkit, which is a bunch of APIs into our routing stack. And this allows, us, uh, allows the OpenR uh, agent to actually uh, augment and influence the Juniper routing stack. Uh, this is in production, so this is something that we are already shipping. And then, you know, uh, extending this to disaggregate applications like P4. Uh, P4, as you know, is a standard way of decoupling the control and the data plane. It allows for specification of the switch pipeline. And the P4 runtime provides APIs to manipulate the FIB. Now, what have we done here? Uh, we essentially provide on-box components uh, to, to interface with the switch management, which is open config uh, either to GNMI and other open config APIs. And we also provide essentially a P4 agent that runs on box, uh, talks to essentially the controller, and, uh, and interfaces with our own uh, AFI layer, which is the advanced forwarding interface that we provide on our systems to talk to Juniper Silicon, or use SI to talk to essentially Merchant Silicon. And then this is a case where we've taken our routing protocol stack, abstracted out completely from our operating system, uh, our routing protocol stack now actually runs natively on Linux, uh, can talk to, uh, uh, to the Nest stack and be able to program IPv4, IPv6, and MPLS. Uh, it's deployable as a self-contained microservice. Uh, some of the uh, advantages of using the routing protocol uh, as uh, a container in this form is that we, it comes with its own CLI. Uh, it does come with full support for Netcon, Fiang, and all of the other open config models. Uh, in addition, you do have the telemetry interface uh, that, that, that routing protocols provide. And we also have a programmable interface where we provide routing APIs to be able to actually manipulate how our routing stack works. All of this today is available in a, either a Kubernetes or a Docker Swarm environment. Uh, and you don't really need a Juniper system to actually use our routing stack. So what we've done here is we've basically taken our routing stack, modularized it, where we have the routing protocols, uh, whether it's OSPF, ISIS, others running as libraries. We have the routing infrastructure underneath, and then we have a FIB adaptation layer, which allows us to talk either to our own proprietary net, uh, network stack or to Linux. And then finally, on the Sonic system, uh, we have onboarded Sonic on both our platforms as well as other uh, merchant silicon uh, hardware. Uh, in this specific case, where we support a single ASIC, uh, we've uh, actually onboarded Sonic onto both Tomahawk, Tomahawk 2-based uh, systems. And the, uh, the thing that we bring to bear here is the platform drivers, where we've taken the platform drivers that are specific to both our platforms or other uh, you know, uh, ODM hardware. And, uh, and we run essentially Sonic on, on, these, uh, on, on these systems. The other thing that we actually bring to the table here is the fact that we can actually replace Quagga with our own routing stack. And, uh, and, and we've, we've, we provide both uh, options where you can use uh, Quagga FRR or uh, our own routing stack in a Sonic environment. And then finally, extending Sonic. Uh, we have been working on extending Sonic to support multiple ASICs. Uh, multiple ASICs connected through a fabric uh, and be able to support both a fixed form factor as well as a chassis-based subsystem. 
Uh, the work primarily that we've done here is to actually take the Psi API and then use a gRPC interface to talk to a Juniper HAL container that then uh, abstracts out the, the, the line card or the multi-slot awareness in a chassis. And uh, this is something that we've been working on and we've been able to demo. Uh, if you're interested, please stop by you know, and we can actually talk to you more about how this is implemented and, uh, and the Juniper ASICs that we support this on. Again, uh, this is what we had today. If you have any questions, I think my colleagues are here. They would be able to answer any of your questions. We are at A2. We, we do have a couple of sessions at 3 where we talk about containerized RPD and also about our multi-ASIC uh, Sonic implementation. Thank you.